You deserve better from me. I can be better. I will be better. Hmm. Good, um, I guess late morning from the Bat Cave. It is, um, July 27th, 2021, and, um, I'm unfortunately starting over with my YouTube channel. Um, here's kind of the short story of what happened, and here's why I am trusting the Lord that it's in his will, um, and then just starting over from scratch, and I had about, you know, ballpark of 250 subscribers, um, that was leading to some additional sales of my book, um, it was something that definitely wasn't a big source of income for me, but it certainly was um, something I was building towards um, for ministry purposes. It was also a community of fellowship and um, something that, you know, I it was, it was a real outlet for me, especially in times of, of loneliness and in times of, um, you know, just just feeling a, a void of good, solid Bible study and people to study the word with. Um, Unfortunately, that was suddenly taken away from me by YouTube because I uh, I believe it's because I made a mistake of um, using a thumbnail from uh, Nicolas Cage's Left Behind movie, and I was doing a teaching series on um, leaving behind the pre-trip rapture. So it was something that I was trying to be theological with it, and I thought it would be clever to just have you know that look on Nicolas Cage's face as he says, you know, he's kind of got this dumbfounded look. I'll show you the the, the image right here. Uh, it was it was this image right here. Um, it didn't have the left behind title in it or anything, but it had that picture. And I just I thought it would be cool to use that image because I think I think the left I think the preacher rapture is is a pretty dumb theory when you just you start to scrutinize it, you know, with sound biblical theology. Um, and he's just got this like dumbfounded look on his face, and it's just Nicolas Cage. And so I thought. Um, you know why not use that and the, i titled the series the, the first i titled titled it leaving behind the pre-trib rapture and then i changed the title to the pre-trib rapture left behind and youtube has a policy that says um you know anything that's looking like it's impersonating content um or misleading somebody into thinking they're watching something that it's not um you can get flagged for that and you can have your channel pulled for that and so what I think happened was that they basically believed that I was, you know, prompting people to think they were watching the Nicolas Cage Left Behind movie. And then it brought them to my channel discussing the pre-trip rapture. So um, YouTube, this is going on as my um, my banner video. And just because this is this is a pop, an apology, um, you you were right. And uh I'm a Christian and I'm trying to do things uh, the right way as a Christian. And one of the things um, we're called to do as Christians is to obey the authority of whatever structure we're engaged in, whether it's our school, our workplace, our government, um, and YouTube is your platform. And uh, what I did, I did out of carelessness. I didn't do it to you know try to do anything wrong, but I did something that was basically lazy and careless. And so rather than try to go through an appeals process with you guys, um, I'm making this public apology, and then I want to let you know why I believe that um, you at YouTube were, were acting as in instruments of God's will in my life. So um, for those of you who know me more um, closely on Facebook and things like that, I've told you I recently got back from a trip from Costa Rica um, that uh, it was just loaded with spiritual warfare and I believe God uh, used the circumstances of that trip to just really reveal to me some major um, flaws in my character, um, some some chinks, if you will, in my spiritual armor that um, were rooted around cynicism, bitterness, um, un some unforgiveness, but mostly, mostly just distrust and cynicism. Um, that's where it was coming from, um, and uh, kind of a. Uh, an angry temperament of um, just frustration with, you know, the ignorance of others or, um, you know, being uh, mistreated or rejected because of the truth and just having an attitude of honestly a slowly building up uh, hatred for people because of that. And um, the reality of being a Christian is we're, we're to speak the truth in love. And if we do, we're very often going to be slandered and, uh, abused and rejected for that. Jesus says, everybody who seeks to live a righteous life is going to suffer persecution. 
and he says that um, if you uh, you hate me, or if they if they hate me, then they're going to hate you too. And um, a lot of people might take this opportunity with YouTube to say, "Hey, YouTube, um, YouTube is persecuting me because I have Christian content," and that's really not the case. Um, you know, I went and researched their policies, and you know, they went through their appeals process, and and the truth is, is they they don't owe me a platform to publish my own content for free. They don't. Okay. Um, even though I'm creating the content, they're publicizing the content. And the reality is, is they're, they're paying for uh, the storage of that content. But in my case, they're not making any money. So um, I might be drawing some people to YouTube, but there's other people drawing people to YouTube that are making money and sharing that money with YouTube. And I'm not. And so, you know, I'm there basically as a guest um, to publicize uh, Bible study content. And if I do that, I have to do that respectfully because I'm in their house and, uh, and I didn't do that. And so, um, YouTube, uh, deleted my channel and, uh, you know, I'm going to say to YouTube, I, I'm sorry for my, uh, my, uh, misappropriation of YouTube and my, um, careless, uh, choices that I made in, in my YouTube content. So, um, I am making content that, um, Cannot, or some of it cannot be monetized, but it's not really my goal to monetize, at least not right now. Um, so it's not um, it's not something that I'm really you know looking at as a loss of income, but I am looking at it as an, a loss of an opportunity to testify a biblical truth and share that with other people. And um, the reality is, is if I'm going to be doing that, I need to be doing that um, within the rules where I have you know power over myself to do that. And I did, I, you know, I, I made a careless choice. Uh, I didn't read their policies carefully enough and, um, and I suffered the consequences. So I lost my 250 subscribers. Um, and, um, I'm starting back over from scratch and you know, this is okay because God's been kind of convicting me about a lot of my earlier YouTube content, even though I put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, a lot of it was done in a, um, an attitude and a spirit of, um, of bitterness and of cynicism and uh, impatience and intolerance um, for people who didn't understand certain things that I understood. Um, and that's just not godly. That's not the attitude you should have as a teacher or a preacher of God's word. Um, I do believe I have a call and anointing in my life to teach. And so um, like all Christians, I'm called to be as wise as serpents and as gentle as doves. And I, I was failing in the as gentle as doves part. And that's kind of a, a pathway of conviction God's had me on for over a year now. But one of the things that I had contemplated doing multiple times is just deleting all my old content and starting over with better content. Um, and that content would be one more succinct, two clearer, and then three more careful to follow uh, uh, YouTube's publication rules. So. Um, to my knowledge with YouTube's publication rules, you can still use clips and things from videos and music and stuff like that. You just, you know, once you use a certain amount of it, you can't monetize. And then in some countries, if you use any of that, that's going to be restricted or um, you can't post that video. And then, of course, there's certain things that you can't say, like you can't spread misinformation about COVID. Um, anyways, that's that's what's um, that's what's happening. And um, I'm going to try to do better this time. So um, this is me basically saying I'm starting over. Um, this is going to be the new uh, Batcave, if you will. Um, the new channel is still going to look like uh, Underground Publishing. Um, hopefully I don't get, you know, one day sued by the content creators of Batman uh, for this. But, um, you know, maybe one day there's going to be another platform I put this stuff up on. But YouTube still is the best platform to get a wide audience. And I'm trying to catch people who just want to study the Bible and study eschatology in particular, but, you know, a lot of theology and things like that. And, and I did write a book and I'm close to, you know, writing a second book. Um, so, you know, I want to use this platform in a way that is uh, God honoring and, um, and respectful of, you know, what, what they own and what they've created. Um, and you know, if I'm getting to do that and all I have to do is create content and post it, then I need to be careful about how I do that. And, you know, if I get, you know, pulled down one day because they just don't want Christian content or they don't want my particular eschatological view, that's one thing. But, um, one of the things that, um, the Bible teaches in, um, first Peter, first Peter four fourteen, he says, 
if you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are me, ye. In other words, it's good if you're reproached for the name of Christ. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. Um, but let none of you suffer as a murderer, as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. So um, this is something I'm going to put up and try to hold myself to in terms of my content, but also um, put up for other people. Um, let's think about what a murderer is. Um, the Bible says a murderer is somebody um, who actually commits murder, but also a slanderer. So if you're going on saying stuff that's, you know, um, hurtful about other people, that's slander. Okay. Um, if somebody's doing something sinful or teaching a false doctrine, you explain what they're doing. But if you're saying stuff about people or even taking up their past, I mean, that's, that's kind of murderous slander, if you will. Uh, a thief, um, you know, technically what I did in terms of uh, appropriating an image that um, belonged to somebody else that's technically stealing. So there you go. Um, an evildoer, and, you know, somebody who's breaking the rules in general, that's an evildoer, and a busybody in other men's matters. And I, I'm going to put that into the context of people um, using YouTube as a, as a uh, platform to um, get involved with things that are not their business. Our business as Christians is honestly, you guys, it's not the government. It's not the business it's not the media. We can we can have thoughts about those things, but but to meddle in those things, that's really not what we're called to be. We're called to be about preaching the gospel and God's word, um, and sticking to that as our focal topic. So, um, anyways, that's what I'm going to try to do, and I'm going to try to do better. Um, I'm going to try to repost some of the content after I you know kind of carefully sift through it and see what of what of it is stuff that I still find appropriate. Um, and then um, I'm going to go from there and try to do better going forward. So I um, hope you guys are blessed by this channel. Again, YouTube, if you see this, you know, hopefully you can accept this as a, as a fair public apology for my misconduct. And I'm going to start over from scratch and uh, try not to make these mistakes in the future. So I hope you guys can give me some grace in that regard and uh, and accept my, uh, my apology as genuine. So um, everybody be blessed by this uh, in, in Christ's name for him to be glorified. Okay, you guys. Uh, Batman out. Take care. So what I was trying to say is that if I can change, я думаю, что каждый тоже изменился сегодня. And you can change. Вы можете измениться. Everybody can change. Каждый может измениться.